Welcome to the Crucial Classics Bring Your Own Copy series, where what we do is watch movies together. We are going to watch all of the biggest titles from that golden age of Hollywood. So join me as we will sync up, press play at the same time, and let's just enjoy the magic from this golden age of Hollywood. Hi, and welcome back to Crucial Classics. If this is your first time here, welcome. I feel like my tripod is moving. <laughs> We start by taking a look at the wall of my living room, which is decorated like this because old movies are important for the past 31 years. So today's title is Rio Grande from 1950, and I can see that it is a, in our experience on our channel, it's a restarring of John Wayne, Maureen O'Hara, and Victor McLaughlin, who we have already seen them co-star together in a movie, is The Quiet Man, and that definitely comes after this. So that really made me excited to watch this one. Number one, because I mentioned this movie to you guys, not knowing the name of it in The Quiet Man. I'm telling you, in The Quiet Man, we're seeing the interaction going on with John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara. I said there's some other movie where he's in the military, and they are literally, once again, kind of speaking words to this tension-filled dynamic between the two of them. And I definitely just kind of saw that replaying in The Quiet Man. And it is accurate to say replaying because The Quiet Man comes in 52, I believe. This is 1950. So I was excited to see that this month um, Pluto TV is playing it. So that is where uh, your copy of Watch Along could be available if needed. Um, let's see, ways that it's ideal to do this is that you view the two videos that you're watching at the same time, which is the Watch Along of me and your copy of the movie on one screen. Ways to do that is two tabs. You pull me into one tab of the movie and another. Make the movie take up more of the screen. Then you take an HDMI cable from your device, plug it into your TV. That gets rid of like any type of connectivity issues, right? There's no casting. There's no Wi-Fi required for that. Or if you have strong Wi-Fi, then you cast your device to your TV. Another option, this one does require more connectivity, um, is the picture-in-picture -picture button here on YouTube on me, shrinks me down, lets me float over a corner of the movie for you. Or, if you can do that also on your copy of the movie, then you float the movie up into this space that I'll maintain here on the screen. So, yeah, guys, that's the dynamic of what we do on this channel, is we watch movies together from that golden age of Hollywood from start to finish. For a lot of the titles that are coming, going forward, they are going to be the major, major, major titles that ordinarily, I would have been limited to watching those over on our sister member site. Um, let me go ahead and play the commercial for our member site really quickly. titles that are just those major ones from the top AFI 100 list and that are not just so kind of jackpot landing upon in a space on you know doing research. That space that I'm talking to you about in my doing my research, the place I can share any information with you about that is over on my Pinterest page. So I always have a link in the description of each watch along that takes you to a specific board for each watch along movie. So consider the board a wall of my living room that I fill up with pictures for every only pictures in the board for the movie that we're watching. And if I can, um, I am able to place pins in those boards letting you know places that I see the movie is available if you need a source of the movie to watch with me. Um, and that's the mission and goal on this channel, people. I'm not watching any movies here that you don't have access to, and I'm doing my best to share with you where I have found access to the movies. But again, these movies are so major and huge and big, and the reason why I'm not saying more and doing more as far as you know giving you that information is because I need to be left out of it. We just all need to understand this material is so copyright protected and all of that good stuff, so as it should be, right? And I'm not recommending or vouching or, you know, trying to push you anywhere. You may easily have this on DVD and all you gotta do is just push play on your remote control to sync up with me. So I need to be left out of where you're sourcing your copy, but I just want it to be the clear mission and what you guys understand is that if I'm seeing, a, watching a movie on this channel, you guys 100% have very ease of use access to watch that exact same movie with me. Um, I'm just kind of noticing I'm a little kind of shocked that the latest upload we did, The Bad and the Beautiful, hasn't gotten that many views. That's a really cool movie. It's one that's not more commonly played. I managed to go these 31 years in my watch-along time, and I've never seen it broadcast where, you know, it's like I didn't strap in to watch it. It's just not one that's commonly played, but I found access to it, you guys. So you could absolutely watch that one along with me. You just have to use common sense and just click a few links if you would like to get more information if it's needed. So um, this title is from 1950, stars those three that we mentioned, of course, many others, and it's listed as the third in a trilogy of movies that John Ford made, 
about the cavalry, um, and I do believe that I have found the first two. She wore a yellow ribbon I've never seen. I know that one I think has Shirley Temple and um, Fort Apache. Never seen those, but I guess they are the first two that we wrap up with this one. Um, and he kind of said this one is the more underrated, but I don't care. I am not going to let anything kind of prejudge me on it because I have seen what I can say is like about a five minute chunk of this movie. I know that's going to be the only part of it that may ring a bell to me when John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara are speaking to each other about this tension filled dynamic that I mentioned to you guys in the watch along for the quiet man. So let me get, I told you about how we watch these movies together. I told you about our sister site, um, the member site. Um, what we do over there, just to let you know about the packages, we watch movies exclusively over there. And then we also have all of the uploads here on this YouTube channel over there that are completely ad free. So there are bundles that you can do um, of the ad free content, the exclusive content, or you pick your package of either of those others. So let me get everything set up and we will do our countdown. Okay, here we go. Playing in three, two, one, click for Rio Grande. Okay, of course. Republic. It's so interesting. Like, who else made movies there but John Wayne? Legitimately, you know, that was like a successful movie star. It's so interesting that dynamic to me like he I no matter who else legitimately might have made movies there he single-handedly like carried that studio right to where I think that we even saw they made the quiet man and I was saying like by that point in time too is he even an owner you know who I think made a movie there is Joan Crawford for Johnny Guitar. I'm pretty sure that that's it. Okay, I'm on the screen that says Victor McLaughlin. Victor McLaglin, right? That's not how you pronounce it, I know, but... I thought it was spelled with a U in it somewhere. Sons of the Pioneers. I felt like Moulton said they did the music. Um, I will have the screen, the movie in this space on the screen for a little bit. It may be off by now, people. Because I feel like this is actually a pretty kind of a slow-moving opening credit scene. And by the time that we get to the costumes, I will be touchy-feely on keeping it up this long. Yeah, I can tell you it's off at the screen by now. But right now I'm seeing second unit photography, okay, different screen. Now we have costumes are designed by Adele Palmer. And uniforms are by D.R. Overall Hatswell. What an interesting actual name, Overall. So what I'm going to need to keep in context, I think, from Jump, Rio Grande, I think like about the state in this country that experiences that river is Texas, right? So this has got to be in Texas. And what I did see that he explained is that this is in post-Civil War time. And other than that, I know nothing. I was trying to watch this about 20 minutes ago and I got stuck so I have seen this little part now um, what I could deduce is like these soldiers are returning home because at first we have these children running out but all of these women standing here this is like at the town where or the base? Is this, I'm gathering this is the military base, right? Where all the families live. Because these kids and women are like checking for if their man has returned. Well, she saw hers had and the other one maybe not. Oh, they have injured too. Okay, there's Victor McLaughlin. This is interesting. It 
It's just interesting the spin that we get on stories from back here in this time frame, right? So he says how long the store is going to be open to. The settlers post, is that what he said? Okay, I think it'll be curious to see what is going on here. Like a combination of their headquarters and families. Why do they have to walk their horses for half an hour? Is that just best for the horses to not come to a complete standstill? Because you know I'm concerned about that. Oh, is this, he's just now making sure the horses are satisfactory. I thought this was weeks that they were talking about. Oh, okay, yeah. This dude, though, that he's talking to hasn't been on active duty with him for 15 years. I mean, how did he remember 15 years, the days, the weeks? He hasn't seen his son for 15 years. I mean, how old was his son when he did last see him? I mean, if he was in that military academy, was he, is he about 18? Did he, like, last see him when he was three? Friendly, huh? 
Uh oh, uh oh, he's nice, but. Okay, so why do they have recruits coming in here too? But McLaughlin is definitely nice to them compared to that dude in, um, oh, just, huh? He looks like the boy from the yearling. Oh, this is his son? How? Just told him he got kicked out. I didn't hear the name. That looks like the boy from the yearling. Jody from the yearling. But the yearling only happened like five years before this. He's grown a lot in five years. That is him. Okay, um, well, why did he need to say that? Because his son was standing right there? That was his son. Yeah, must be. Compared to John Wayne. Dang. So he needs to do the work of 20 men. Okay, well, why is he talking to his son? Like he's... Didn't he just return it? Oh, he didn't stand up to return it, huh? And he didn't have his hat on? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you don't respect me being my little, um... Are they corporals? Is that what he is? Need me to do the work of 20 men? You're gonna salute me right, huh? Oh, yeah, he's counting his height. That is young Jamie from the yearling. I didn't. I'm telling you, first time watching. 
I did not remember that part at all. So I guess, yeah, these guys are learning to ride horses, period. <laughs> Just say yo. <laughs> I like him bend her. Oh, like that? Oh, dang. They have to learn how to do that, too. He asked these boys if any of them had ever ridden a horse. Is that all he does? He's not, like, really mean to them. Oh, they can do it. Are they gonna jump, too? They're just kind of slow, it seems, in their speech, but wow. Quite impressive. That's the reason why he said they're making a lot of fuss about just jumping over some sticks, because they can do this well, like Judah Ben Hur. <laughs> uh, people I didn't think they would show that they jumped on the problem. Oh, the marshal. What is this, his son? No. Well, aren't they in Texas? It is. Isn't he like from folklore? Is his dad? Why is he coming up? Oh, don't hurt 
or so. Why is his dad all concerned? He's doing it. But if he jacks, if any of them mess up, this is dead. <gasps> he seems to be on his feet. Oh. Yeah, he's standing, huh? I mean, do they really have to ride like that and be able to jump? Whoa, okay, um, what's going on? That looks like a senior officer. Talk about you, uh, Victor. No. Uh oh, is he gonna get knocked out? You know what? This Marquis. The Marquis of Queensberry rules. We already know what's up, right? I don't know what it actually meant. It just was that only those two can be in it. <laughs> I don't, like, in the quiet man, right? They finally called for the Marquis of Queensberry rules. And it just meant that only those two were in it. Instead of the whole group getting in. This is little Jody from the yearling. I had never seen him in anything else. Ooh. When he said that they would settle it, I knew it would be some kind of a boxing match, but I thought they'd have gloves on. He's kidding. Okay, they already told him that about the horses. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the boy is outweighed by a good... Yeah, okay, this isn't okay. Oh, I already thought that was John Wayne. Here he is, right here. from Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> That's Max from Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> are, th are they done?
I mean, I guess he's going to be all right. I mean, he was outweighed by about 40 pounds, this other little stocky dude had on him. Actually, I don't know. Is that the dude from Sunset Boulevard? Oh, yeah, he was going to hit him hard because of what he said about him. Is his eye all swollen shut? It kind of doesn't, doesn't look like that dude. Oh, he's got all the respect now. Yeah, he didn't back out of his fight. Um, Is it cod liver oil? A caster. Okay, so John Wayne, that's his boy. He's proud of him. This is interesting. So, John Wayne said he asked for 180 men and he got these 18 recruits to do what? Carry on ordering, um, patrolling the Rio Grande. I mean, they were already out, right? And then came back from battle. Well, why is she here? This has got to not be um, what the boy wants. And hasn't seen the boy in 15 years. Oh, she didn't know that he was going to be here either. Uh, okay, so I looked up more about Maureen O'Hara. I hope I got accurate information. She is from Ireland until she was like 17. Yes, is this correct information, people? Born and raised in Ireland until she was like 17. That is the reason why she was giving us her life in The Quiet Man. Are they still married? Did she know that her, well, let's see, he said Mrs. York, that's his name. Oh, she let his arm go. Um, darling. Oh, what did he do? <laughs> that's what he's. Oh, arsonist, she said. Is she be trying to stay in his quarters, right? Is this a setup? fight not much Oh, 
she doesn't want it to be a purple. She's got it. Oh. He has to be willing. Oh, it doesn't have to do with whether or not he's willing. I did not remember that he got all fresh with her like that. Because when he's talking to her later, he's apologizing for the fact that she has his son. I didn't know that he just let her know she's a fine figure of a woman. <laughs> and wanted to do something about it, it seemed like. Um, I do not understand why these are the accommodations. She sees, yeah, like there's one bunk. Is John Wayne gonna just, like, be sleeping on a little cot outside now? Because she has moved into his tent. Oh, this is his silverware. She's gonna set the table. So she's bougie, huh? He can be bought out. I came with $100 for him. She wanted him to be able to start off as an officer if he would have graduated. What is their history? 15 years, that's a long time to not have seen somebody. Oh, are we getting a flashback? We get to get the story? Or no, or what, or... Now, it's a transition. So, she had just intended to come and get him and take him, not stay. Get her son and take him away. Why are they? Wow. The energy... Oh, to serenade her. What happened to all of the other children, right, people? When these men were all first coming back. It didn't seem like they were so separated. Okay, so these sons of the pioneers, that's what Malton said. That they... The singing. Can she stay? Dude, I don't know that she can actually be staying. And she still misses York, so she is... Oh, they wrote a song for her? Oh, this is a little musical number. They aren't divorced. He's just been on assignment for 15 years. Oh, what a sad little song says. Okay, well, it's deep. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, 
so yeah, he just needed to let it be known this very deep romantic song. He didn't dedicate this to her. <laughs> that dude that's singing, seen him in something else as just a straight actor. If I, he, I think he's the guy from Shane. I think he's the guy in Shane that gets his ass kicked by Shane in the bar. So it's just completely awkward between them. What, she can't even kind of turn in his direction a little bit without it being... <laughs> Did they say Kathleen again? Oh, just take her to her home again. Where is her home? Okay, yeah, he's getting his stuff and he's gonna leave the time to go to sleep. Oh, okay, she addresses it. See, I think that right there, as I actually think about it, is what he said to say sorry for the fact that you have my son, um, and he's grown more thoughtful, so yeah, he's not going to sleep in the tent. Is Victor McLaughlin going to come poke his head in to talk to her? Is he going to be all mad that Victor McLaughlin's over there? Is he going to tell him to stop playing the music now? Oh, is he sneaking her to go see her son? Her son is going to be humiliated that she's there, right? It seem, does he know yet? It doesn't seem like she, you know, got taken to him yet. Are these all women? Why? Huh. Here they are. Women. Yeah, I don't think she wants him touching her. Well, these people are talking about eating soul food.
Oh, she's coming in here. She is going to humiliate him. He does not want to see her like this. He, yeah. Oh, you know what, it's that dude that just said deeply honored is the one that is in Shane. But that dude that just said howdy, ma'am, those two look like brothers in real life, right? Because I thought he was the one that was singing earlier that I thought was that dude from Shane. Oh, he's embarrassed. Uh, he doesn't want her there. Is he only 15, though? Is he only 15? He lied about his age to say he was 18. Uh-oh. He's not gonna go home. Hmm. Okay, they're a good match in that way. It seems like it doesn't have to do with whether or not he says so. Oh, well, he said he wasn't going to do it. Oh, okay, they did not tell her that, huh? Okay, um, Marina Hara, I think you should probably be just ready to go back to where you came from. What the heck was that? That sounds like a human being. Oh, uh, that's what the women are chanting about. Oh. Shoot, this is their base, huh? But they already had problems, they said. Like, they just got back from a battle. Jeez, um, this is a big deal what they're doing now. Huh?
Oh, they're freeing those women. Those women were captives, yes? And they came to free their women. He said, it sounded like he said this isn't an attack, but it has to be this is an attack. Oh, the horses that can leave are and the ones that are all tied up. Okay, there are women and children around this whole facility. We just have not been seeing them next to the soldiers and her. Have you ever fainted? I've never fainted. I think I have come close a couple of times, but I've never actually completely just passed out. Okay, there are ladies. Oh, because McLaughlin came and, like, snuck her over to the boys, huh? She's back awake. Where is he going? Why is he leaving a captain behind? Oh, they lost quite a few men. Or those are natives. identifying. Okay. <laughs> the captain looks like he has an eye patch, right? Um, It's a problem unless they can stop them at the Rio Grande. Why? Like, if they cross the Rio Grande and go into Mexico, then they're going to Mexico, right? They don't want to let them go to Mexico? Kind of red her when uh, it was kind of a mess that she fainted like that. It's like be cut out for this area that you've come to, otherwise, you shouldn't have come and insinuated yourself into this situation. She's taking his stuff, why didn't he need that? Was it his laundry? It looks like it was his laundry or something that she's going to take care of him. So that's that, huh? 
they're just leaving to go out to battle. So these guys are really a little um, choir. The sons of the pioneers, they had a whole credit and a whole screen of who they were. Yet, like I said, that one dude that was singing, serenading her, I've seen him acting in plenty of things. Oh yeah, she's doing laundry. Like an Irish woman, they have to be playing this little Irish jig as she's doing the laundry. Oh, these guys are coming to get their laundry done. But they know they can just hand it off to her. His drawers and his bridges. Oh, yeah, that was the name they were looking for. Ooh, I thought they said a horse thief. I saw just this scene right here and then I clicked off a bit because I was like, this is that movie. She's got money, yeah. Gonna get him a lawyer. Oh. Why did he throw the bucket? <laughs> what did he set on fire of hers? Is she will not let him live it down. Huh? I'm glad that they're walking those horses up that steep embankment. So they're really just on the lookout for who they're searching for and are walking.
<laughs> He's like little Micheline from uh, the Quentin. I actually said this part too. Just because then I was like, oh, he's in a movie. Oh, he doesn't even know him. <laughs> oh, is that, he's okay with that? He knows that's who he is. <laughs> um. Oh, he's hurt him. No, he's not okay. Scarlett O'Hara, they're from Ireland. Oh! <laughs> oh, maybe he didn't really mean that, right? But uh, it's done. <laughs> So is this now the Rio Grande? Are they just trying to come post up here so that they won't let them cross into Mexico? It's like if they cross into Mexico, then they lose the opportunity to get them back? Like, what's the deal? And that's them over on the other side of the river right now? Somebody's got a fire going. And they've been told they're not supposed to cross the river. They came this far before, they said. Okay. Is that John Wayne? It looked like it wasn't John Wayne that was going into the river. But they probably are. Are they going to parlay and they just meet in the middle of the river? I thought that was the name of this movie, Rio Bravo. That I'm not supposed to, yeah, okay. So what was he trying to do? So they get to get their wounded tended to. 
But that was weird the way they said that stuff to each other because you know that they both wanted to break their orders and go get these attackers. We don't know why they're attacking them, but gosh, they're attacking them and the Mexicans too. And they crossed the river to go into Mexico, so... They're gonna do it anyway. Are they still singing about Kathleen? It seems like he's affected by that song. Malton wrote that this, and I think I already told you guys that, this was the most underrated of these Calvary movies that John Ford did, obviously, I guess, with John Wayne. I like it. Guys, I also see that Red River is available right now free with ads, but I had already found that anyway, so we'll be watching that too. I also see The Great Escape is free with ads, but I had also already found that, so we will be watching that. We're really in great shape, guys. We're not at the mercy of just content that's released. Because I have been doing my research. Hmm. Well, she said he's lonely, huh? And he chose this duty for the past 15 years over her. Are they just back at their base now? Well, yeah, they didn't pursue into the mountains to get them, huh? So they've just come back. Oh, did he forget that she's probably just right in the next space? Is he gonna just go crash? He forgot about her? Oh. home. and get you back? And Jeff doesn't even want to leave it anyway. He said he was just going to take her home. Oh, uh, do they have a change of orders now? No. Oh, uh, that dude is a general that hadn't, it's been 15 years, seven months, whatever, whatever, since they last were fighting together. Is she sitting at the table? He said he was going to take her home. Oh, that 
it's nice to know. Oh, she doesn't drink though? Oh, he's just letting her know that, yes, that is her only rival. See, this tension. Is he, um, all wasted or something? <laughs> Did we have to hear another five minutes on from these people? This dude singing right here. Doesn't he look almost exactly like the dude Tyree that they got in the hospital? Well, they're singing it for the general right now, not just Kathleen. Why is the general here again? I thought that he would be saying, hey, I have orders now that we can pursue them or whatever. So obviously the dynamic with Wayne and O'Hara here is she had a plantation in the Civil War. He, these look like Union soldiers. And he had to burn down her plantation. Okay. So John Wayne isn't walking with her to her quarters? Uh, well, he has to stay and talk to the general, huh? Oh, about Tyreen. Is it a lot of interest? Oh, he doesn't care. But they were already getting him a lawyer.
this man's already because they're union. Does he get to get away? Is he taking this long to get a horse? Tyree? He took a long time to get away if this was his opportunity to do that. Oh, they're shooting at him. He's just telling him to do it himself. It's not an official order. Hmm. So he's going to ruin his military for... So he'll get off. A place called Bridesdale. Yeah, they had to burn down her plantation. Why is this this? This is his day off. Leave. Where is she staying now? I'll take you home, he said, and I guess it's just to this little tent. She was in his tent. She has her own now. So, okay, okay. I was going to say, that's a problem now. She's come around. But she does appreciate him for doing it. Oh, she just went into her little tent. Oh. <laughs> 
Yes. Is that four pennies back in the day? What are bits? Oh. Confederate dollars. Oh. Why is she mad at that? Oh, okay, so their son is just a part of this whole escort for all of the women and children, not just for her. That lady looks really old compared to that dude. That just looked like a weird age difference. Okay, so... Sending the women and children off to a different post headquarters, right? Post. And these dudes are going to be gone for the winter, he said. And even if it takes until the next winter... So her son is just one of these escorts, okay. But that means he won't be in the battle. Or on the, you know, just the hunt. Well, they do seem to know where they're going. I guess that first trip was like a scouting trip to just track down where they need to head back to. Oh, these are the women and children, though. What are they? So they have some men riding ahead really far? to make sure the coast is clear. What is this? Why are they hiding? Oh, that's that Tyree guy. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I 
There's more than just these two. I was like, I know all of these women and children are not just with those two young little corporals. Okay. The lieutenant, he said. Is it Victor McLaughlin? No! <gasps> Oh, they do have guns, huh? They have guns. Because somewhat they didn't, and somewhat they did. I mean, some of them look like they just have stakes, but they also have guns. Oh, no. Where did all the women and kids go? Will he make it? Maybe, you know, just because he gets to leave. Was Tyree. Got them all? Oh, thank goodness. Is this John Wayne? some of them coming up.
Why did they stop back there like that? Oh my gosh. I did, did we notice that they got the kids? Boy, they keep getting attacked, like, outnumbered and, you know, just being, like, they're waiting for them. This is one of the Mexican soldiers. Oh. No, he's not a deserter. Don't they let him speak? That's what he took so long for it. He's gonna choose his son.
Oh, he had to wipe his nose off just to prove that he's 15. Why are they only sending three men to go rescue all of the children when they have all come this far? I mean, because it's all of them. Just waiting to attack in the morning. Look at this. This is where the kids are? And they only sent three. And that's what the dude said. They were drinking copious amounts of tequila. Okay, so they only sent three to get the kids, because here all of them come. Okay. So no, where they just showed is not where they have the children. So this is the first time they've crossed that river, the Rio Grande. <clears throat> This has got to be way into Mexico now, then. Where are the Mexicans that they met at first that said it was their duty to protect Rio Bravo? Why aren't they chilling in this area? Well, I guess there was only three of them left, no. Okay, we need to just watch to see. <clears throat> okay, wherever they are going is not where they've been showing all of these men doing their vengeance dance. <clears throat> until morning. He said they're going to be doing it until morning. <clears throat> This is interesting, it kind of looks like the area where The Searchers is filmed, huh? As soon as that one, as soon as I can find that one or it ever gets released anywhere, we'll watch that one. I love that movie. That movie is hilarious because everybody yells and hollers so loud in that movie the whole time. That's the one takeaway of just like a little quirk about that movie it's like why is everybody yelling at the top of their lungs every line that they speak in this movie okay so they're creeping up on the vengeance dance Take the bell from her then. There's only the three of these. You're right. The three of the 
his soldiers only. He said, John Wayne said to all the mothers that they would get these babies back. I thought it was one of the other bullets. I was wondering what they had this effing wagon for, okay, for the Ninos. This is a good movie, guys. <clears throat> okay. That baby better be okay. She doesn't need to be ringing the bell. They need to get her from ringing the bell. gotten Victor McLaughlin. Oh no! That's never the thing to do. He just want to bleed to death now.
Well, you just see on all of the emergency shows nowadays, somebody gets stuck with something, you don't pull it out. Is he gonna make it back? I mean, they should have put a tourniquet on it. <clears throat> This movie has to be about done, and I know that they would not do that to John Wayne. Right? Did you see your son? She got some relief. We'll walk a little closer to him so his arm isn't having to stretch out so far. <laughs> oh, what is this? Oh, the graduation of the um, young recruit class. <laughs> Where are they playing that song? She is all happy. Well, they love Kathleen. Huh? What a weird ending, huh? Wow. <laughs> nice time. I loved that. Um, I don't watch a lot of John Wayne movies. I really enjoyed that one. So, all right, guys. Many more to come. Like and subscribe. We'll see you so soon. Thanks. Thank you guys so much for watching this movie with me. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Hey, hit that thumbs up button for me, especially if you're hearing my voice saying this right now. <laughs> you watched to the end. Um, go ahead and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you can always be aware of our newest titles to watch together. See you next time.